Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I don't know about you guys, but I was waiting for the dates to be released for the Sephora VIB sale for so long, and the dates are finally released. I will have them linked down below. But today I'm going to be showing you guys my recommendations for the sale and what I really think that you guys should pick up for the sale if you guys are shopping it because these products are basically my, like my favorites and you guys have definitely seen these before. I tried to like talk about items that like I haven't talked about a lot or like I haven't talked about recently so I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and we're gonna keep it short and simple and if you guys want to see what I recommend for the VIB sale then just keep on watching. Thing. The very first product that I would like to recommend would be the Ulla Henriksen Banana Bright Primer. I got it very recently. I got it like maybe a month ago or so and I've honestly been really enjoying it. I really like the fact that it's kind of like a skincare and primer all in one so I can feel like it, my face being like moisturized and nourished but then it's also a really nice base for my foundation. I know that it's kind of been hyped but it's definitely been, been hyped for good reason and I definitely think that you guys should check it out especially with the 20% off if you are rouge or even 15 percent off is really really good and just honestly makes a really big difference. Okay, I took out all the products to, like so I can actually show you guys so that you know what I'm talking about so I guess I'll kind of go in order. The next product that I definitely would recommend is the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I know that this has probably been talked about a lot but it's been talked about for good reason. I really like this concealer because one, it's moisturizing, It's not. it doesn't get cakey on your face, it's honestly like it has great coverage, it sits so beautifully on the skin. I am wearing it today and I'm also kind of mixed it in with my e.l.f. concealer. I love this. I do wish that I got a shade lighter so I could use it as a highlighting shade because I always have to mix this in with another concealer which obviously isn't the worst but I just kind of wish that I had a lighter shade so definitely when I repurchase this I will be getting a shade lighter. I'm like almost all out of this. I use it like almost every day. I love it so much and I definitely, definitely recommend it for all of you guys. So the next product that I recommend is a product that I was kind of on the fence about, not because of the actual product, but because of the brand because it's been, you guys will probably be able to tell, it's been kind of hit or miss for me, which is Fenty Beauty and this is the um, <laughs> Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder in the shade Banana. Now, I love Fenty Beauty as a whole. I love every all of their products. Just some of their products just really didn't work for me. For example, like the concealer. So I was kind of skeptical about this because I didn't know if it would be a hit or a miss for me. I have it on under my eyes today and I really do love this one, guys. Like, I feel like it really, really smooths out your skin. Like, any pores that you might have definitely just covers them up really nicely. The color is really nice, too. I got it in the shade Banana for highlighting under my eyes. I think that it works really, really well. I also, I don't know how I would feel about it all over my face. I haven't tried it out because it is, like, the yellower shade. It's honestly, to begin with, for a high-end powder, it's already pretty affordable. And then with the additional 20-15% off, it'll be... A, so nice so if you have been kind of skeptical skeptical spectacle if you haven't been kind of like skeptical on the powder I definitely think that it is worth the money and definitely worth a try I'm like so proud of myself I'm feel like I feel like I'm breezing through it so the next product that I have is the morphe continuous setting mist and mine has been like through the ringer like I don't know if you guys can even see the huge dent I have on it I lost the cap for it but honestly, I love this one. You can see, like, it has such a fine mist. It is just so nice. I honestly do feel like it makes my makeup last a lot longer and just help it sink into my skin as well. And honestly, I'm just the spray. Like, oh no, I hope it doesn't get on. My dad would kill me if I got the lens dirty. <laughs> Not actually, though. The spray on this is so nice. I just feel so, like, elegant in a way, and it just feels so like calming like it's not just something that's like shooting out at your face it's already so affordable and then with the additional discount like you know like why not like don't even think about this guys like it's so good I think you'll love it I know a lot of people either like love it or hate it and some people say that it leaves their face really really oily but I don't feel that at all but this is 20 bucks it's already a really good price so I don't think you guys have anything out anything to lose out on if you buy this and I genuinely think that you guys will enjoy it definitely one of like my favorite recommendations so the next product that I have is definitely 
you guys have definitely seen this before a lot, and this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Sultry Palette. Now, this one is limited edition, which is also why I'm recommending it to you guys, because it's a really, really nice palette. It has really nice neutral shades. I think that you guys can get a lot of use out of this palette, and then you can also create like a lot of different looks. I do have it on my eyes today, and I think it looks really pretty. It looks really, really simple, and again... You know, these are colors that you're that are gonna last you so long and they're so like metallic and just so pigmented. Just so pigmented and just so pretty. I'm hoping because it is limited edition, I don't think that you guys should hold off on it. I was kind of skeptical at first because I was like, I don't know, like, do I need another eyeshadow palette? I didn't need another eyeshadow palette, but I needed this eyeshadow palette. So <laughs> I highly, highly recommend this one. If you guys like any of like the gold, silver shades, like you will definitely like this and you will definitely enjoy it. And again, who wouldn't like a discount on an eyeshadow palette, you know? So I just have two products left. The next one that I want to mention is eyelash. And this one is the House of Lashes Sephora Collection um, in the shade... Oh my god, I said this last time too. I said in the shade. In the style, Natalia. And this is just what it looks like. Oh, okay. One's like lopsided. <laughs> one's like falling off. But this is what it looks like. And they're very, very beautiful eyelashes. I think that there's, they have so much volume. They make every eye look just like pop. I just dropped it. They make every eye look just like pop and just look so much, so, so pretty. Like it completes every single eye look. I have been really, really loving this. I don't know if you guys can tell. I used it in like my, my last makeup tutorial as well. Like I love these and these are really affordable as well already to begin with. They are $18 Canadian. You guys should definitely check out either this one or the other ones that they have. I know myself, I want to pick up a new pair, like another style of these as well because I think that they're really good quality, especially for the price as well. So... The last product I have is a lip gloss. It is the lip gloss I am currently wearing. And you guys can tell that I really love it by just... I almost dropped it again. You guys can tell that I really love it just by looking at it. Like, it is basically all done like I just scraping by like to get it out even like today I had to scrape so much just to get it out to apply it but this one is the bare minerals um I don't know exactly what the name is for the lip gloss I definitely should have looked it up um I'll have it linked down below like I'll have it named down below as well but it's from bare minerals this is in the shade tantalize and it is just such a nice lip gloss because it's shiny but it's not too shiny to the point where it's like you're wearing like a film on your lips it's really really shiny it adds moisture but it's not sticky I used to always be scared of lip glosses because they were so sticky in my hair and just everything would just stick to them and after using this like I've fallen in love with lip glosses because it's just honestly so nice it's such a comfortable formula it lasts really long as well and then it's just like moisturizing so I honestly really like this. I'm probably going to restock on this one as well. It's like a really nice like mauve shade. It's really good for just like throwing on your lips to add a little bit of color. I do have it on top of a lip liner right now, the Huda Beauty Trendsetter Lip Liner. Um, but I honestly really like it. I think if you want to try something new, because I don't, I feel like Bare Minerals is really slept on. Like it's a really, really good company and it has so many nice products, but I feel like nobody really talks about it. I feel like it's kind of like a hidden gem. So if you guys are looking to try out a new lip gloss or even just a new brand, definitely check out this Bare Minerals one. I don't know if they have shimmery lip glosses, but this one's like a matte or not matte. It's like a simple, like one simple color. Like it doesn't have any glitter or anything. Um... So it looks really natural as well. So yeah, that's my VIB sale recommendations. Again, I will have the dates and the discounts listed below just so you guys know exactly when the sale is happening. Also, let me know what you guys will be picking up if you do choose to take part in the sale. I would love to hear what you guys are getting or what's on your wish list as well. I will most likely be doing a haul as well once I place my order, so be on the lookout for that. And if you have not already, I'd love it if you guys hit the subscribe button down below so that you guys could see more of my videos and just keep up with the haul and everything as well. And of course, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye!